You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, General Hospital fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your weekly prediction edition. As always, our predictions are based on recent episode activity and official spoilers. Real quick, before we dig in, I want to congratulate Robert Gossett for winning a Daytime Supporting Actor Emmy for his role as Marshall Ashford. And GH also won Best Drama, Best Writing Team, and Best Directing Team. So that's exciting. And what I really got kind of teary about at watching the Emmys was when the directing team, I think, came up to get their award. I think that was the team that did it. They did that little tribute to Johnny Wachter, who, of course, played Brando Corbin on GH and was tragically and senselessly killed recently in a shooting in L.A. All right. Today, we have got predictions for Drew and Nina, for Liz and Jason, for Laura Collins, for Finn, and for Sasha and Cody. Before we dig in, though, if you have not, please reach down, click that subscribe button so you don't miss a thing. All right. Our very first prediction, I think Drew and Nina are about to be in a real public relationship. I don't know if it's going to start out as an actual romance, but yeah. So they both obviously are enjoying the hot sex. I mean, on Friday's episode, she couldn't even talk or think straight looking at a soaking wet Drew shirtless in those trunks. I was right there with her going, oh, okay. And um, yeah, he is very into her. What I really thought was interesting was when she was chatting with Willow and Willow was being nice to her. Drew was watching from the pool and he was smiling. He was very happy. He actually, for whatever reason, seems to have forgiven her and is happy that she is getting closer to her daughter. So just some spoilers that made me think about this. Monday, June 10th, Drew talks to Curtis about his run for Congress that he's planning. Um, Also on Monday, Willow tells Michael that she's going to give Nina another chance because Drew has, and that's exactly what Nina wanted from him, and he's pretty much delivered. Friday the 14th, Nina is excited by an invitation. I think it might be from Willow. So she is definitely benefiting with this whole Willow thing. And Drew could benefit from her contacts and her help with his congressional campaign. They are both single. And being with her openly, you know, that'll upset Carly and Sonny primarily and Michael. But not anybody they care too much or are worrying too much about. I think it might start out more as a public relationship of convenience, but I do think it's going to turn into a real romance. I think these two are going to fall for each other, but we will see how that goes. Our second prediction, Liz and Jason are going to spark again. On Friday, apparently, even though we didn't see who he was calling, Jake called his dad, Jason, to help his mom, Liz. She found drunk Finn fondling that rando and she's outraged. Finn tries to stop her from leaving because he wants to explain. Jason shows up and says, get your hands off her on Monday. So yeah, and the spoilers on Monday say Liz is shocked. And I don't know if that's shocked by what she sees or maybe shocked because Jason shows up to her you know, out of nowhere, it seems kind of random. And him playing hero for her is a great start. They're both single. The obstacles are out of the way, which were primarily Sam and the mob. And she's about to be single, I think, you know, and they have a kid together and a legion of fans and boy, does GH need a boost in ratings. So I think it's coming. Our third prediction, Laura Collins ousted as mayor of Port Charles. Laura has been advocating for Heather and that's upsetting a lot of people. Remember, I think it was like maybe two weeks ago, she made front page news about this you know, trying to get Heather's case reviewed. It does not look good for her. Spoilers for Tuesday, June 11th, say Alexis gives Laura some advice. I'm guessing it's about Heather's case. And on Wednesday, the 12th, Alexis and Diane discuss Heather's case the same day that Trina confronts Laura, which has to be about Heather because Heather was, you know, coming for her, trying to kill her. And Curtis is very upset about it as well. So is Portia. But despite all this opposition, Laura is not going to stop advocating 
but her constituents are going to hate it. A lot of people that she cares about are going to hate it. You know, she's defending, not defending, but, you know, looking to help the hook killer that terrorized Port Charles. Kevin, of course, will support Laura, but I just wonder if she's going to, you know, risk her political career if it's going to die on that hill, that hill that is Heather Weber. Our fourth prediction Finn is going to rage at his intervention. Finn is off the deep end, boozing, cheating, and doing that whole thing that addicts do where they rationalize their behavior, basically saying it's okay to drink because I'm a druggie, not an alcoholic. (laughs) Okay. Um, On Monday the 10th, Liz confronts him and Jason warns him that same day. Tracy offers some advice to BLQ and Chase when they talk to her about trying to basically intervene and stop Finn before he circles the drain and and hits bottom. Tracy tells them he's not going to like it, which I don't know anybody that likes an intervention. I've not really been to many myself, maybe one. Thursday the 13th, Finn is determined about something. That same day, Liz and Chase voice their concern. So that definitely sounds like intervention day. He's not going to take this well. He's going to blow up. I hope they're sending him to rehab far away. Portugal would be good. (laughs) I really, I don't need Finn anymore. I I think they should resurrect Silas Clay for Michael. I'm, I'm just not a fan of Finn so much. All right. Our fifth and final prediction, Sasha pushes Cody to confess the truth to Mac. And right now, Sasha and Cody know the truth. Dante knows the truth. I think he told Sam... I feel like he did. It's just, it's not pulling up in my memory databanks right this second. And remember, they tricked Felicia with fake DNA. Sasha did it. She pulled Cody's hair out of the bag and put in her own. Mac is back soon because he was spotted outside the GH set heading into work on May 10th. And they shoot about four weeks ahead. So he should be around June 10th-ish. I don't know. So maybe Mac is back this week. Spoilers for Tuesday the 11th. Say Sasha challenges Cody, and I'm sure this is about Mac. And on Friday the 14th, Cody gets something to think about. This reveal that Cody is Mac's son is long overdue. Of course, it had to be put on hold while John J. York was off getting treatment for two types of bone cancer that he had. And he's come through treatment great. Got shorter hair. I miss that those curly hair he has. I'm interested to see how his, it. you can see his hair coming in and it's beautiful and it's thick still. I'm curious if it'll come back in curly because I know from friends that have had cancer and gone through chemo and it all fell out. It comes back different a lot of times. So we'll see if we'll still have that, that curly York hair that we've been seeing for decades. Mac doesn't have a biological kid of his own. He cares about Cody. I think he'll be thrilled about this, and I don't think that he will hold the lie against his son, but it definitely needs to come out, and I hope it comes out soon, and there are spoilers indicating that it may. Those are all of our predictions. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is Belinda from Soap Dirt. I'd love it if you'd subscribe and support our channel. Thank you so much. Drop your comments on where you think these storylines are going, where you hope these storylines are going, and definitely come back. We are here talking General Hospital seven days a week at Soap Dirt on YouTube. Thanks for tuning in. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more.